Hi, this is Bob from Bob Johnson's Computer Stuff. And if you're looking for an online Toughbook community that gives tips, tricks, and support, hit the subscribe and that bell button for notifications of all our newest upcoming videos. Today, I'll be going through the five most common issues of your Panasonic Toughbook CF31, so stay tuned. Okay, so today we're gonna to go about the five most common issues with the Panasonic Toughbook CF31. Now let's keep in mind the Panasonic Toughbook CF31 is the flagship for Panasonic. It is the tank. It is the one that just is built to last and very upgradable. But there are some issues and I kind of want to point them out. Number one, number, number five issue, the fifth issue that I have, I'm going to start at number five here, is that the power port is built onto the motherboard. So whatever you do, do not break the power port off the board because then you're putting a new system board in this, this unit. Uh, it would have been smarter for them just to have that as a uh, removable piece that you could just plug back in. Well, maybe in the next model. Number four, the a number four issue that I have with this is the power port or all the covers, all of these covers. And if you look right here, I'm going to show the example. Notice that all these power, all these covers are not you. The ones that are not used are still there. But look at the power port cover. It is ripped off right there, right at the thing. And when you look at them, they seem substantial. But if you look at the hinge, it's just a piece of plastic, a thin piece of plastic that bends back and forth. After a number, it just breaks off. So number three is the mouse pads. Now I've been selling these tough books since the CF25 and the CF31 has the mouse pad that wears out the fastest. We replace a lot of these and I believe it wears out faster than even the CF30. The mouse pad that was a rock was on the CF27. But it, this 31, the mouse pad tends to be replaced more commonly than not. The next one, number two, is a little more technical. I'm going to get a little more technical in case you tear this thing apart. Some issues that we find on replacing or adding up upgrades. And that would be, number two, the Gobi card mounts. So whenever you go to put the Gobi card in, there's two screws that you need to screw down the card with. And the little mounts that those screws screw into tend to break really easy. So if you're going to put a Gobi 5000 card in, and that, and by the way, the Gobi 5000 is the multi-carrier broadband card that you would put in this unit to have broadband. Uh, if you're going to do that, be careful with the screwing down that card. You will break those mounts if you tighten it too tight. And the number one issue on, tech, on the technical side uh, is make sure that if you're going to install a webcam or you're going to replace this screen or anything to do with this screen, you absolutely must unplug the machine, absolutely must remove the battery, and then turn it on. Make sure it's, all those capacitors are completely drained. Because if you don't, nine times out of the ten, you will short out your motherboard. And this screen will not, no matter what you do, you, you'll have to replace the system board to make it work. Uh, I do have a bonus issue, and that bonus issue is the fan in this 31 definitely need to clean your fan on a regular basis. If you don't clean your fan and it starts making noise, it's already too late. So try to keep well-maintained fans and you won't never have to replace it. If you wait till it gets too dirty, it will burn out and you'll be replacing it. Well, that's all I got for the CF31 on the issues. Believe it or not, I had a hard time coming up with these, but definitely a flagship no reason that those issues should even be a problem with purchasing it. Uh, if you have any questions or comments or issues or you want to add to my list, hey, put it in the comments. I really do try to get to all the comments that are put down. Um, don't forget to hit that bell button, the subscribe button, and I will see you next week.